Hello, I'm Penny Schilling. Welcome to a Mrs. Schilling's Emporium video. You may have seen some of my mum's videos on natural therapies, or even some by my brother Bob Schilling. This video is an overview of diabetes. It's very comprehensive so you might want to grab a coffee and a pen to make notes. Please click on the subscribe button below to get notified of our other free videos. When someone is asked to describe their health, and they are diabetic, they'll only say that they're diabetic. Most don't mention whether they have type 1 diabetes, or type 2 diabetes. Both conditions cause the body to struggle with glucose storage and usage. Type 2 diabetes is the most common, affecting 90-95% of Americans with diabetes and 90% of those in the UK that have it. Although individuals aged over 45 are the most common group to have type 2 diabetes, teenagers, young adults, and children can be affected, too. Diabetes type 2 is when your body can still produce insulin, but the insulin produced is much less useful. You actually become resistant to this hormone that the body needs to regulate your blood glucose levels. Now, let's talk about risk factors. People from Black African, African Caribbean and South Asian such as Indian, Pakistani and Bangladeshi backgrounds are at a higher risk of developing type 2 diabetes from a younger age. Research has shown that there are several risk factors linked to this, some that you can manage and others that you cannot. Type 2 diabetes is serious and can go undetected for up to 10 years. It is not inevitable and in many cases can be prevented or delayed. If you do nothing, you could end up with some serious complications. Genetics is another risk factor. Inheriting certain genes makes you three times more likely to develop diabetes. The main culprit is lipids inside the pancreatic B cell membranes, which cause blockage of the process of storing and converting glucose to energy. Obesity is another risk factor for anyone with a body mass index BMI of 25 or higher. Smoking increases your risk of developing type 2 diabetes by 30 to 40 percent. A lack of exercise and an unhealthy diet also increases your risk. Environmental factors certainly contribute to the risk. Type 2 diabetes might even be the consequence of having too little vitamin D, and finally, age, certainly plays a big role. Type 1 diabetes only affects around 5% of Americans, the same with the UK adult population. It shares many similarities with type 2 diabetes, but it develops differently. Type 1 diabetes is an autoimmune disorder, meaning that the immune system attacks and destroys the pancreatic beta cells that produce insulin. It's unknown why the immune system attacks the pancreatic cells, but during the process, the pancreas stops making insulin, and supplemental insulin is needed from that time on. Symptoms of type 1 diabetes appear much faster and are much more profound. Although adults can develop type 1 diabetes, and men are more at risk than women, it's most prevalent among children, and it typically sets in at puberty. The rate of increase globally is at 3% annually among children. The risk factors are highly debatable in type 1 diabetes, but it comes down to a few potential culprits. Genetics play a role if a child has beta cell autoantibodies. This affects the way their bodies process glucose because the antibodies automatically destroy insulin or beta cells. Having cystic fibrosis, which causes scarring on the pancreas that stops the organ from producing insulin, also puts you at higher risk. Hemochromatosis, which causes an overload of iron that can damage the beta pancreatic cells, is also a risk factor. Viral childhood infections can also cause type 1 diabetes, such as rubella, measles, and mumps. Many other autoimmune disorders in which the immune system attacks organs such as the pancreas can lead to type 1 diabetes. Examples of these disorders include celiac disease and thyroid autoimmune disease. Stress can lead to autoimmune dysfunction and the subsequent development of type 1 diabetes. 
Type 1 diabetes is a challenging condition that affects young and older people, but with proper care, frequent monitoring, and simple lifestyle changes, you can lead a pleasant life with the condition. Many people ask what the common symptoms are. The symptoms of type 2 diabetes can manifest in various ways, including increased urination, dehydration and thirst, increased appetite, blurry vision, unexplained fatigue, numbness or tingling in the hands and feet, wounds that take longer to heal, unexpected weight loss, thrush. Hyperglycemia is defined as high blood glucose levels. Patients with hyperglycemia exhibit dry mouth, nausea, vomiting, a fruity smell, like old-fashioned pear drops on their breath, difficulty breathing, and coma. Untreated hyperglycemia can be life-threatening. Hypoglycemia is a potentially life-threatening condition of having extremely low blood glucose levels. Symptoms include shakiness, a pale face, sweating, chills, anxiety, and a rapid heartbeat. People ask, can type 2 diabetes change into type 1 diabetes? The simple answer is no. Even though the two main types of diabetes share similarities, they aren't caused by the same factors. People ask, can type 2 diabetes change into type 1 diabetes? The simple answer is no. Even though the two main types of diabetes share similarities, they aren't caused by the same factors. Patients who suffer from an uncommon condition called latent autoimmune diabetes in adults larder can be thought to have type 2 diabetes when they actually have type 1 diabetes. LADA mimics type 2 diabetes, but the fact that it is an autoimmune condition which prevents pancreatic cells from producing insulin makes it a type 1 diabetes disorder. The LADA test establishes the diagnosis. So, to clarify again, type 2 diabetes cannot become type 1 diabetes. Whichever type of diabetes you suffer from, you should adopt a healthier lifestyle to support treatment. Insulin-dependent individuals can't simply throw out their injections. Instead, they should use lifestyle changes to improve their overall health while adequately treating their type 1 diabetes. Type 1 diabetes is undoubtedly stressful, but amazing advancements are being made that could change the way we treat it in the near future. Don't give up hope, even if you have to rely on insulin. This is the end of this video introducing diabetes, but not the last. There is a series covering all aspects of both type 1 diabetes and type 2 diabetes, as well as all the topics such as self-help, medications, treatments and even preventions. If you would like to see more of the videos, please hit the subscribe button below.